pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the acts of 2023. This meeting will be conducted by a remote meeting. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so, for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. With that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 12.18 p.m. and take a quick roll call of attendance. Dylan? Here. Allie? Here. And I'm here. We have two absent, but we have enough for a quorum, so um, we can go along. So next step is public comment, and this is public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda. If you have such a comment, you can raise your hand using the raise hand button at the bottom of the screen. And again, this is unrelated to what's on the agenda. Do you see anyone, Steve? I do not see anybody with their hands raised, no. Okay, great. Um, next up, discussion topics. A, alteration of lunch cart food truck regulations. And uh, Steve, what, would you walk us through the changes and post the the um, amended regulations? Sure. Yeah, and then we'll have time for comment after your summary. So um, you can see the markups here, seeing the right version? Yep. Okay, so um, we made some changes with this um, just to kind of um, correct some, some um, a few typos within it. Um, to kind of make more clear and um, and um, strengthen kind of the the procedures for enforcement and put, making it more clear who can do that, um, and then just some clarifications about um, certain um, regulations and restrictions. So um, the first change here is just for left and right pictures of the cart and truck add add truck. Um, this was always misnumbered. There was two section six point oh one, so we changed that to two. Um, this section seven here, the parking rules, it was previously to um, maintain a minimum spacing of no more than 10 feet from the front and rear bumper of other vehicles. Um, that was very difficult to enforce and kind of made it impossible for anybody to really park anywhere. So I just changed that to be um, parked within the lines of marked parking spaces. Okay. Um, and uh, also to make more clear that any partial spaces occupied by the truck, cart, or tow vehicle must be paid for. Um, so I, I don't, you, I'm certainly open to any comment about removing that, but it seemed to be um, very impractical. Um, the uh, no, we made it clear that no overnight parking allowed by lunch cars, food trucks, or the vehicles used to tow them. Um, for the uh, hours of operation, we added that uh, operators may not reserve parking spaces by obstructing them with cones or other objects or by parking other vehicles in the spaces beforehand. Um, for 9.01 traffic obstruction, um, it already said that they cannot conduct business with people with vehicles, and I added or with people they know to have parked their vehicle illegally. Um, and uh, if that keeps continue hap continuing happening, the uh, board could... Um, I had to suspend or discontinue that location as available for lunch cart food truck operation. Um, for trash and recycling, I added that operators will check the area within 100 feet of their vehicle and pick up any litter left by customers at the end of each business day. Um, I also added under pollution mitigation that they are strictly prohibited from dumping any solid or liquid waste anywhere outside the truck or cart, including onto the street or in the storm drain. Um, I added a section for external equipment to make clear that no advertising materials, tables, chairs, or other equipment or materials may be placed outside of the truck or cart, except with advanced permission in association with a special event. Um, section 12, penalties for noncompliance. These were um, not on point, so I removed those. Um, those must have come from different regulations we worked on before. Um, mm -hmm. I made it clear that these regulations will be enforced by the board or its designees. Um, including but not limited to all Amherst Police Department officers and Amherst Inspection Services staff, because I believe the way it was written before, it was only the board who could write tickets, and um, you guys would have to go to court in that case, so that wouldn't be fun. 
Um, so that kind of brings it in line with most of our other regulations. Um, I also added the board has the option to suspend as well as revoke or not renew any license due to failure to comply with these regulations. Um, I added a section for that all fines shall be paid within 21 days of the date of its issuance. If it's not paid, the operator's license shall be automatically suspended until all outstanding fines are paid and the board votes to reinstate the license at a public meeting. I chose 21 days because that is uh, in line with the non-criminal disposition statute and um, they, they have up to 21 days to pay or appeal. So just, just bring that in line. Um, I also added the board may require licensees to attend this next public meeting after a violation has been issued to explain the circumstances of the violation or for any other purpose. Um, I added the provision that the Amherst Building Commissioner, upon determining that significant violations exist, may immediately suspend a license until the next meeting of the board or until such violations have been corrected. But if that happens, the board may lift such a suspension at a public meeting. Um, I added a section for a cessation of operations for public safety. Um, so this was this is kind of in line with what we have for short term liquor licenses, where the Amherst police chief or his designee may order any license to cease operations and leave the area anytime for reasons of public safety. So that could be if there's a big disturbance or a Blarney blowout type thing or something like that. And then we uh, change the numbering here to match. So that is about it. That's great. Thanks. Thanks so much, Steve. Um, Kelly or Dylan, do you have any questions or comments or anything to add? Looks great. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks really good. Thank I you. Think this, this will help a lot. Um, okay. Are there any questions from anyone uh, in attendance about the change to regulations? Any comments? If so, you can raise your hand. No? Okay. Um, Steve, what about uh, the parking, paying for parking? Did we talked about that? Is that uh, is that something we want to talk about in the future, about getting so, a daily parking pass? Or so that is. Um, let me bring that back up. Um, is that something? Did I miss that? Uh, I didn't. Really, that was kind of already in there, but I think we could definitely go through and see. Um, so this is a section that says on street lunch carts, food trucks, as well as the tow vehicles for lunch carts are exempt from the normal time limitations in town parking spaces but they must pay all applicable parking fees during enforcement hours. Um, licensees may choose to feed the meter as the operator may contact the town collector's office to for a daily, weekly, monthly, or annual prepaid parking permit. Right. And we have stuff about the, um, the, the, the where they park. Um, so we could definitely add, um, you know, if, if the board felt it was necessary, we could add a provision that the board may um, require a licensee to get to get one of those daily or annual passes um, if there has been um, non-payment of parking parking fees with the meter. Should we add that in? Does anyone, what do you think? I think Dylan? that's fair okay. to add in. Can we just put that in? that does that uh does that look good to you guys or same oh i see to obtain prepaid parking it's so necessary yep i think that's good that'll do okay. does that look good to you guys would we want to even just remove the if they determine it to be necessary part i think that just makes us ask the question well what is necessary oh good point yeah i think that okay. works we just may, we may do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, that leaves it up to our to, to our call. All right, great. Thank you, Dylan. Um, any other questions, comments? If not, is there a motion to approve the changes to the lunch cart food truck regulation? So moved. And a second. I second. Uh, thanks. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Kelly? Aye. 
and I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and the changes to the regulations have been approved. Approved. Uh, thanks so much for your work on that, Steve. And you are very um, welcome. And would yeah, the board maybe ever... like to uh, entertain a motion to um, officially uh, designate um, designate uh, all Amherst Police Department officers, inspection services staff as uh, as um, as uh, designees for enforcement of this these regulations. Uh Absolutely. Who would like to make that motion? So moved. And a second. Kelly? I'll, I'll make the motion. Oh, Dylan made the motion. Can you do the second? Oh, I'll be the second. All right, thanks. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Kelly? Kelly? I, I was that I. Sorry, you're. I sorry, I'm. I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, sorry. And I, I vote. Oh, thanks. And um, I vote I. That's an I. Yes. Okay, great. And I vote I. That is three to zero with two absent, and um, the the, the designation has been made. So, thank you so much. Um, was there anything else we had to cover, Steve? Is that it? I think that'll do it. Fantastic. Okay. And uh, now we go on to upcoming meetings and agendas. And our next meeting is, let's say, it is, is it next next Thursday at 5.30? Next Thursday, yep. Yeah, next Thursday, October 10th, 5.30. And uh, I guess we'll talk a little bit more about, about the food truck regulations. I think there were some larger questions we wanted to get into and then probably some rental stuff. And um, anything else that's come up? Do you, are there any licenses uh, that you know that are coming up, Steve? I believe there's a couple of UMass short-term licenses. Okay, maybe great. Maybe a common vicar too. All right, and is this an this is a a Zoom meeting? Yes. The tenth is a Zoom meeting. Okay, great. So we'll see you everyone online at five thirty. Um, hey. I'll just give then, you a date now. I'm not going to have anything for um, rental registration process by the tenth this weekend. I've got. Uh, okay. A lot due for my uh, my class, so I'm gonna be working on okay. that. But in, but by the next time we meet in person, that's when I'm gonna have something that we can uh, we can look at. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Maybe we could just put that off until the what is the next day, the twenty fourth. Since it's a Zoom meeting, maybe we could keep it shorter. Sounds good to me. That sound good. Love it. Okay. Thank you very um, much, everybody. All right, thank you. And then topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Any topics? I don't have any. Yeah. Okay, great. And we're on to adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? So move. And a second. All thank second. Uh, we'll take a vote. Dylan. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. We are adjourned at 1230 p.m. Thanks so much for coming in, everybody. <laughs> thank and you, everybody. See you soon. Bye. See you on the 10th. Bye.